New tonight at six property tax rating rates rather in Greene County are on the rise and some people in that community have some concerns about being able to keep up with payments. News Channel 11's Leah Johnson spoke with both community members uh, who say they're worried and county leaders who say there is relief available. This past summer, Greene County commissioners voted to increase property taxes by 30%. But some members in the community worry about how this increase is affecting those who are retired or living on a fixed income. I just feel sorry for the people that are on fixed income. It breaks my heart. Sherry Gaskins, a resident in Greene County, says the increase doubled her taxes this year and she worries how it's affecting others in the community. A lot of people around here that work are on a fixed income. Um, it can be devastating. That could be their grocery money. And rent's going up everywhere because of the property tax. And um, it's causing people not to be able to afford their living. The state of Tennessee does offer tax relief programs for people who are disabled, 65 and older, a disabled veteran, or a widow of a disabled veteran. Tammy Livingston, tax specialist for Greene County, says because of the tax increase, more people are applying to the program. Well, all total, last year we signed up 165 people. That was between October and March. This year we've well exceeded that, of course, you know, because we've already at 200 and we're just in February. Along with the tax increase, the county commission also voted to increase the percentage the county will match on state discounts to help compensate for the 30% increase. This year, the state discount is $127. So the ones that are already on the program, they are getting $127 and then the county's matching that. So they're getting another $127 on top of that. So they would just pay the difference. The deadline to apply for a tax relief program is April 5th. Anyone interested in applying can visit the Greene County Trustee's Office. In Greenville, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11.